Well, greetings everyone. This is uh, the beginning of part two. I'll be adding this part into it to where I cut off on uh, my last little rant there going on to help show you why you should come out of this system, why you should come out of the world. Uh, have no part of these politics and such that are going on. It's just a farce. It's uh, not part of the kingdom that we're going to be part of. So with that, I hope you enjoy where we left off on part one, where we're going to, oh yeah, start part two like right now. Fourteen, continue giving Russia access to the U.S. Patent Office. Now, I do agree with that, you know. I mean, everyone should be entitled to put a patent on what they need to put a patent on so everybody knows that you don't rob each other. I mean, that only makes common sense. But, you know, the world hates the laws of our creator. Fifteen, capture one or both of the political parties in the United States. You know, you got the, uh, the donkey or the elephant there, you know. Uh, just capture one of them. <laughs> 16. Use technical decisions of the courts to weaken basic American institutions by claiming their activities violate civil rights. Yeah. <laughs> Make it look as though it violates civil rights. This was 1963, my friends get control of the schools. I mean, you can't tell me they don't have control of the schools today. Ain't nobody there. Well, they're setting up these other things with the Black Lives Matters and everything. And, you know, anyone in the school system that resists any of what's going on, they just get replaced until when they do open up again, they'll have control of the schools, according to this manifesto here. Get a control of the schools. Use them as transmission belts for socialism and current communist propaganda. Soften the curriculum. They're already dumb enough, but they're going to soften it even more. Get control of teachers' associations. Put the party line in textbooks. Tell them how wonderful, you know, China and everything else is. And you should want your country to be run just like that. But basically it already is being and you just don't see it yet. Here you go. You know, you got President Trump speaking about all these things and everything that uh, the fake news, for instance. So here, starting in verse 18, gain control of all student newspapers. And, of course, that's speaking primarily of the colleges. Use student riots to foment public protests against programs or organizations which are under communist attack. Infiltrate the press. Get control of book review assignments, editorial writing, all your major newspapers and such, and magazines, and policy-making positions. That's talking about even, uh, you know, policy-making positions can be run into uh, senators and congressmen and things of this sort as well. And that's why they got the lobbying, you know, so that uh, you can pay money for one of these fellows to maybe... Uh, make something unlawful or make something lawful that used to be unlawful and all you gotta do is pay them money it's open bribes that's what that uh, <laughs> that little game is all about there but 21 gain control of key positions in radio TV and motion pictures you know I mean you've got some of these people uh, Cronkite and others that admitted fully that these things took place back in their day. And that actually, I believe it was Cronkite that uh, gave praise to Satan in uh, one of his latter uh, interviews after he had already retired. And, or he had received the award and he gave thanks to Satan for it. Anyway, here in uh, 20 seconds, it says, 
continue discrediting. So they were already doing it, but now they are to continue discrediting American culture by degrading all forms of artistic expression. An American, an American communist cell was told, already taken place in 63, an American communist cell was told to eliminate all good sculpture from the parks and buildings. You know, what's going on right now with uh, BLM and these other groups pulling down all the idols that were made by our forefathers and stuck up to be worshipped by the world, I suppose you can say. Uh, these things, you know, they're putting lassoes on them and toppling, you know, <laughs> every... Uh, idol they can find out there it's going on right now out there in the news blm and everything else like stated you know i mean trump just put out you know that there's going to be long prison terms for those who are defacing such things an american communist cell was told to eliminate all good sculpture from the parks and buildings substitute shapeless awkward and meaningless forms i'm sure you've seen some of these you know, pieces put up there, and I, I sit back on. I wonder what that's supposed to be or do or what, you know, and, and now I know it's a meaningless form, and therefore nothing came to me, so if I stood there and looked at it long enough, I guess I'd become meaningless. Control. This is uh, 23, control art critics and directors of art museums. Our plan is to promote ugliness, repulsiveness, meaningless art. Sounds like our government officials on whatever level. <laughs> A meaningless art. 24, eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship and a violation of free speech and free press and you've seen this you know from the days where television was if a man and woman were in bed uh, even as man and wife in real life and acting uh, otherwise or whatever or you know being married because in those days they didn't even allow a young man and a young girl to be in bed with one another on television and even those pretending that they're married couple, whenever they kiss, one of them had to have their foot on the floor. That was just how it used to be. But you can see since then that eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship. You know, you're censoring out when I say blah, 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 blah. And then she blah, 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 blah. And then he blah, blah, you know, uh, it's censorship when you don't allow me to view sexually explicit things verbally. It's censorship. And a violation of free speech and free press. I should be able to bring out immorality on the television anytime I want. That's what it says. Eliminating all laws governing it. Now here in verse 25, this is what it... And these are more or less in progression as they go along to the ends of their goals. They've been promoting these things so much that it's come like everyday knowledge to people that it's all right. <laughs> but here they're saying that this stuff needs to be removed. All morality has to be removed to bring about this new world order in the way they desire it to be. <laughs> 25. <coughs> 25. Break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography and obscenity in books, magazines like the Playboy, Ooey, and this and that, motion pictures, radio, and TV. So now these things, you're going to promote pornography. You're going to promote obscenity. In books, magazines, motion pictures, radio and TV, you can see from the day where a married couple had to have a foot on the floor to kiss while in bed, 
up to where they're actually doing it right there on the television program. Some of these scenes are actually having sex during. <laughs> you know, that's what it's come to. And they don't even have to be married. They could be uh, pretending they're committing adultery and most likely are to begin with because some of them are already married to someone else that ain't in the picture with them. But anyway, from that point, it's going to bring you to 26. Present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as normal, natural, and healthy. I mean... Certainly, most every one of you remember when it was first a shock to find out that condoms were now available in elementary schools and anywhere else, you know, that a child might just want to go in and get a condom to start practicing this new free sex movement. And if they get pregnant, well, the state will pay for it and the parents don't even need to know about it. And they'll do it during school hours. <laughs> but they wanted to present homosexuality. Think about it. This was from 1963. These were their goals. And just the last few years, you know, it's, it's normal for a man and a man or a woman and a woman or a woman and a horse or a woman and a tree and or etc., to now be part of a holy matrimony. That's what has gotten to be, and it's normal for even a woman to marry a tree. You know, I mean, though she's even admitted that she had thoughts about a certain birch tree, you know, but repented of it and went back to her walnut or whatever it was that she married. But anyway, you know, it's normal now. 26. Present homosexuality degeneracy and promiscuity as normal natural and healthy so that's all part of bringing this into that communist you know the satanic governmental system the new world order this is the things that's going to be normal there and why they're going to hate those that keep the commandments because i'm telling you these things are against our heavenly father's law but satan's been bringing this out slowly since 1963 before 1963 when this was taking place our government officials are seeing to it that these things are taking place i mean look how they advertised bill clinton with a cigar there and that young lady you know i mean that was uh big news <laughs> but it became normal activity I mean, there was a place in Canastota, New York, when I lived out in Canastota back in the 90s. I had a friend that was a plumber. Oh, what was it called? He said, you know, Canastota such and such, and I knew the place, I don't want to say it, but it, uh, it has something to do with mold. <laughs> I'll say that much, but it's a pretty big factory there in Canastota. And he said that the reason why they flushed the toilet and a lot of times things was coming back was he had to uh, plumb the lines, plumb the, uh, the wastewater lines. And what he was bringing up on his rotor router thing there was thousands and thousands of condoms. <laughs> so you know that these things, the promiscuity as normal, natural, and healthy... We're talking back in the 90s, it was normal and healthy and natural for some woman to be going to work for a certain corporation, going up into the office and, uh, you know, enough times to stop the plumbing, you know, in the bathrooms. Took a lot of visits, and was that just from their secretaries or... Was it from women that were married and went to work and to keep a job? They had to contribute to the plugging of the lines, you know? I don't know, but anyway, I see it. I've seen it. Present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity is normal, natural, and healthy. Here you go, 27. And it's got an underlining on it. Infiltrate the churches and replace 
revealed religion with social religion. Discredit the Bible, underlined, and emphasize the need for intellectual maturity, which does not need a religious crutch. Now, in part, I agree to it. You know, I do believe that the religions of the world should be taken down, but, you know, then where would they have to go? You know, they'd have very little belief in anything. And, and at least if they're stuck in some sort of uh, religion, a church or whatever, hopefully they're still studying, you know, they're having Bible studies or something to where one day the truth of the scriptures might go click, you know, and the scales fall from their eyes and, and then they come to realize there's only one path, one truth, one life, one way, and that's our king to the Heavenly Father now, but that's what I hope they would do is, you know, get rid of these, and of course, you know, what is against all these things up here is not a religious crutch. Uh, a religi religious crutch is what most people have when they say, oh, look, man, I believe there's going to be a rapture. Hey, Harry! <laughs> You know, or, you know, any of these different things, uh, you know, the rapture is just one of it. Uh, the once saved, always saved. You know, all these different things that are out there are religious crutches. Instead of coming to the knowledge of the truth, they use a religious crutch. But, you know, I do agree that, you know, the church should be re replaced with the truth but not the social religion, and that's already taking place. You know, they're discrediting the Bible. Uh, they emphasize the need for intellectual maturity. They've got the New uh, Age movement, all these different things going on where you got to always study to go deeper and deeper into the spiritual thing that most people have no idea about to begin with, and they just make it up as they go along, but it seems like a cool science fiction movie or something in the in the work so why not get into these far out speeches of nothingness when it takes the ten commandments by keeping the give or take 613 the schoolmaster laws that bring you to the ten commandments you can't keep the ten commandments without these 613 laws which aren't part of this plan and it brings you to our king who then turns in your practicing of the laws that you've been doing so much, they're written in your inward parts, you're given to our king, and then they're no longer necessary because he gives you the faith. Because he knows that you're not going to go against what you know is wrong ever against. Or what's right. You're not going to go against what's right. Present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as normal, natural, and healthy. And when people tried to say, no, I'm not even going to put, you know, uh, a thing with a guy and a guy getting married on top of a cake. Go someplace else. They'd arrest him. Put him right out of business. <laughs> and people called it normal and natural and healthy to put these poor people out of business. Man. 28. Now this took place during my lifetime. I remember I was probably in, I was in high school. And we were still having prayer at school every morning. We had a prayer. Most of the time uh, in elementary school, the priest would come over from next door, and if not, the principal himself would bring forth the prayer over the intercom. And, and at least in those days, it gave us some realization that, hey, you know, Santa Claus might be around watching us, you know, because Santa Claus was the god of everyone's household. But at least when they prayed, you knew there was a higher power that was watching over you. So naturally, we didn't have as many criminal acts being done, especially by students as we do today, after they take the every day letting people know there is a higher power that you're going to one day come under the judgment of as pursuant to how you're living right now. 
So we went into school thinking, wow, man, we better behave. We, we better do what's right, you know, and if we see a wrong, we'll tell somebody. That's what we were brought up as, but it's totally changed here. But here in 28, it says eliminate prayer or any phase of religious expression in the schools on the ground that it violates the principle of separation of church and state. Now it says, in parentheses, and this is when it was first uh, published. Remember, these goals were published to expose them in 1958. So in 1963, the fellow here that's reading these out puts in there, remember, these goals are pub uh, were, were published to expose them in 1958. And he says, coincidence? Discredit, number 29, discredit the American Constitution by calling it inadequate, old-fashioned, out of step with modern needs. We sure need the abortions, Wade versus whatever. A hindrance to cooperation between nations on a worldwide basis. So as you've seen the years regressing, they're coming to this world church, this world uh, court. This world court is what they're trying to bring in. And you'll see here in the last of these goals, but you've already seen so many of the things taking place since 1963 to now, they're just getting ready to turn us all over to the new world order to where you're all servants. You don't have America anymore. You'll have this UN that'll be making the decisions over you. Right now, it doesn't matter when you vote anyway because, you know, it's the electric college that actually puts in who they want, no matter what the amount of votes or whatever for, uh, for or against were of in their state. They're the ones that are putting in these ones, and they're, you know, just like those that get petitioned in Congress and such where they're given money or certain privileges, things of this sort, for their vote or allowance of this or that or the other thing. It's all the same. It's all corrupt. Everything is just fallen by the wayside, you know, and the Constitution being called inadequate and old-fashioned, it's been going on since most of y'all been born. So you're born into these things that wasn't at one time allowed in America. Out of step with modern needs. I keep mentioning these modern. A hindrance to co uh, cooperation between nations on a wild, uh, worldwide basis. Verse 30, or uh, rule 30, I guess you can call it discredit the American founding fathers, okay? They're even pulling down their idols now and everything and, uh, you know, trying to put graffiti on them and all sorts of stuff, trying to get them pulled down. But uh, discredit the American founding fathers, present them as selfish aristocrats who had no concern for the common man. And I'm sure you've heard of all these, I mean, the Black Lives Matters. I mean, every one of them, you know, loved slaves or something, you know, and and they're all just anti-black, you know, whatever. But it, you got to realize this is all of the corporation. This is a worldwide thing that America's under here uh, today. And, uh, you know, it was the 30s that we were basically betrayed and uh, everything just went downhill since then. They've been working on this plan, uh, which is a tweaking of that of Albert Pike's to bring us about to where we're ending up here. 31. Belittle all forms of American culture. Okay, in other words, put Trump down, I guess you could say for today. And discourage the teaching of American history on the ground that it was only a minor part of the big picture. So they've already got this all planned out. And American history is just a minor part of that picture that Albert Pike had sent off his manifesto to all these world elites 
to bring this plan apart. So yes, American history is just a small part, a minor part of the big picture that was known way back then that they're bringing this into right now here today. And you're seeing it on your news. Give more emphasis to Russian history since the communists took over. <laughs> 32, this is back in 63. Support any socialist movement to give centralized control over any part of the culture. Education, social agencies, welfare programs, mental health clinics, and or etc. Eliminate, number 33, all laws or procedures which interfere with the operation of the communist apparatus. I think you already seen that, you know, with the video with that uh, FBI agent there telling us to write, and then when you do write, say, oh, well, you know, if you got an impending thing, call the police, or... I mean, I've tried every route that she even mentioned and, you know, as stated, not one reply. 34. Eliminate the House Committee on the American Activities. 35. Discredit and eventually dismantle the FBI. 36. Infiltrate and gain control of more unions. 37, infiltrate and gain control of big business. Now, they're bitching about all these things. Even Trump was brought under scrutiny about uh, doing business with China. You know, that's, that's taking place everywhere. In fact, uh, the American corporation, the United States of America's corporation, has some big controlling portions of every... Uh, commercial enterprise, I guess you could say, anything that is corporated, uh, incorporated into the state or county or whatever it is that they're incorporated into, which is incorporated into the American uh, corporation, which is, in, you know, in incorporated into the Queen of England's and the Queen of England's and all these others that go to her and others that are outside of her going to the Vatican and so on and so forth are all incorporated into different corporations that are at the top that are actually bringing forth all these things on the earth right now in your lifetime. But it's been going on since before our parents' parents were even born. <laughs> Transfer some of the powers of arrest from the police to social agencies. You know, Black Lives Matter come back, you know, that's what I'm seeing there. Treat all behavioral problems as psychiatric disorders which no one but psychiatrists can understand or treat. That's why nobody understands when I tell them what my mental disabilities are. <laughs> That they uh, listed me as uh, schizoid, basically, you know, schizophrenic. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that they call me because when I went there, they diagnosed me because I was telling them the things that I wrote in this here email and many other places about all these government officials doing these things. And, of course, no, they can't be. So now my psychiatric disorder can only be understood by a psychiatrist. So normal people can't understand. And why is that? Because you all are kept in the dark. You don't, for the most part, see. And if you do see, you stay quiet. I've never stood quiet. When you're insisting on eating pork. And once again, we have to interrupt this here documentary i guess you can call it uh as we're going to start part three this is the end of part two i hope you watch part one uh if not i encourage you to go back and take a look at it uh very much you know injustice is going on it has nothing to do with our father's justice this is man's justice and it's going to be rode right into the ground before too long it's going to be completely shattered into pieces and then our king's going to come and reign. 
and use us to help them do so. So stay tuned for part three, and I love y'all. Bye.